So I took out my little black book for this one, aka my good housekeeping cookbook. A few things you're going to need to get started are some bologna, cream cheese, horseradish sauce, paprika, 2% milk, an onion, Tabasco or Cholula hot sauce, and some wax paper. So first you are going to slice and dice that onion. My favorite way, it's what I really learned from culinary school, is how to chop an onion properly. My knife needs to be sharpened, goodness. You are going to need your mixing bowl and you're going to take a three ounce package of soft cream cheese, two tablespoons of milk, one tablespoon of horseradish. You're gonna only need two teaspoons of grated onion, a fourth of Tabasco, one eighth teaspoon of cayenne pepper and then bologna and wax paper. So you're going to spread at least five pieces of bologna triangle on that wax paper. You are then going to place all that lovely delicious mixture on top of each. Voila, there you have it. And you're going to stack them. You're going to wrap it up in your wax paper and then you are going to put it in the fridge and let it chill for a bit. Once it's chilled, I left it in overnight, you are going to cut into eight delicious triangles. And that is all you have to do for this delicious appetizer, or in this book they like to call it nibblers. I'm not entirely sure if this would be one of the first things that I go to if I go to a party. But maybe if I showed up late and this is all they had left, I'd eat some. But let's try it. Oh my. Okay. So after they chilled, you can then cut it into those eight little sections and it becomes like a mini sandwich. Oh yay. Um, time to eat it. It tastes very much like horseradish sauce. I think my dad would definitely eat these as he just goes to the fridge most often when I'm at home. Takes out a piece of bologna and just squeezes it out of a tube. So I think he would very much like these. Um, the recipe will be up on my blog. Leave a comment down below. Tell me if you're going to try these or not. Don't forget to subscribe. Stay scrumptious guys. I'm sorry, I know somebody back in the 1950s was like, this is a good idea, but would you eat this?